think this just might be my new post. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Only gonna ask once. Thank you. Anyways, I want to talk about some winter fishing tips, tricks, and pointers, how I stay warm, and what I do. So, first thing is, is layering. You want to be warm, but you also don't want to be too warm. That sounds crazy, I know. But, you don't want to be sweating, because then that's how you get the chills. So, what I do is I rock these heavyweight layers from Sitka. This is the base layer hoodie, and then I also have the base layer heavyweight bottoms. Highly recommend them. They are so ridiculously warm. For the bottom, and I'll talk my way from bottom up, what I rock is I'll rock wool socks, some heavyweight wool socks, um, either from REI or some smart wool. Just any warm wool socks. That's all you need, warm wool socks. Your toes will get a little cold, but you're not going to be freezing. Then I'll rock the heavyweight layers. I've fished it all the way in 32 degree weather and fished it in snow. I've duck hunted in them. They are incredible. They're heavyweight Sitka bottoms. Then I'll rock this. The upper body that I rock is, it'll be a little warmer because I do tend to get a little bit colder on the top half. So what I'll rock is I'll rock this, the heavyweight Sitka hoodie, and then I will throw a Patagonia Nano Puff over it. And then over that, I will have a Columbia rain shell. So the reason I do this and the why, why I like this the most and what I've tested and tried and true, it's true, is they're lightweight, they pack down, and they allow you to not feel like the Michelin Man when you're hitting water. Don't go out feeling like the Michelin Man because then you can't move, it's harder to fight fish, you bend over to pick something up and you feel like you're going to fall face forward into the river. It's not a good time. So I'll rock this Nano Puff. The Nano Puff compacts down very small, about this big, throw that in the backpack if it get hot. Same with the raincoat. The raincoat, and the reason I rock a raincoat is because it allows me to keep that slim profile so I can keep everything under my waders and so I can basically keep that heat trapped in. That is why I rock that and also if the winter, if winter changes and it starts to rain or snow or sleet, who knows what's going to happen, it's, you're prepared for basically any situation. And another thing that I like to have on me, and I'll throw in my front pocket of my waders, is I like to have heat warmers. Little hand, hot hands, whatever they are. I like to have those in there because after you touch a fish, that water is frigid. And you have you want to take your gloves off. First of all, guys, take your gloves off when you're handling fish in the winter. No ands, ifs, or buts. If you can't, then don't go fishing in the winter. But take your gloves off, get your hands wet, touch your fish. Warm your hands up. That's what you gotta do. Hot hands will help with that. And then throw your gloves on. Sometimes if you have to, you wear your gloves, ball your hands up in a fist, put your hot hands in there, get your fingertips warm, and then your rest of your hands gonna start to feel warmer. But please, please, please guys, do not handle fish with gloves. Just don't do it. It causes a disease, that sliminess on a fish. You take that off, that's their immune system, and then they start getting all fungus and stuff and getting all weird, and then they end up dying. So don't do that. So. That's what I'll do to keep my hands warm. Next thing I want to talk about is what do I do when I'm getting my waders on? When I'm putting my waders on, what I'll do is I'll legitimately, I'll tuck my two bottom layers in, so my Sika Heavyweight and my Nano Puff, I'll tuck them in and have my shorts over them so they stay down, so I'm just keeping warm. Because sometimes what will happen is you'll get your, uh, your, your jacket will pull up in the back, so you don't want that. So just tuck them into your pants. When you're putting your waders on, it'll make life easier. That also keeps a lot of heat trapped in. I've noticed quite a bit of difference when I'm waiting and I'm a lot warmer with my stuff tucked in than when it's not. And also, I'm more comfortable. For whatever reason, I'm just more comfortable. Another thing that I will do is I will bring hot soup on the river. That means hot chicken noodle soup. I'll throw it in my Stanley thermos. I think it's like 20 bucks and you just make soup the night before, boil it in the morning, and then you have hot chicken noodle soup. However, with that hot chicken noodle soup, there's some things that you can do to make sure that the noodles don't absorb all of that liquid. Another thing that I like to do, and that I've kind of recently found, is Mr. Buddy Heater. That thing saved my butt when I fell in the river the other day. I sat next to that thing for about two hours, and had a little propane burning, and just kept warm, let my stuff dry, and that's the biggest thing and that's why I love the layers that I have I love these base layers I love my Patagonia layers I love all of them 
However, these, these dry so fast. The Sitka gear is sweat wicking, odor resistant, and also dries incredibly fast and is incredibly warm. So if you're a fisherman, get Sitka gear. Trust me. Bring extra layers, bring clothing and keep them in your truck because if you fall in and you've drove a long way, guess what's gonna happen if you fall in and you have no extra layers? You're going home. So bring extra layers in the truck and make sure you have similar layers. That's why you need like 30 pairs of Sitka or 30 pairs of Patagonia because if you fall in, you're basically just like, oh man, I'm screwed. So if you have a, a girlfriend, boyfriend, fiance, husband, whatever, this is how you can convince them to get more layers. But babe, if I fall in, I need these layers to stay warm. You don't want me free, you don't want me to get hypothermia, do you? No. You want me coming home safely with a smile on my face ready to do those dishes. It works, trust me. Just trust me. Anyways, I've kind of covered some of the stuff I wanted to talk about, but you know, I think most of you guys follow me for my fishing stuff um let's talk about flies so what flies work in the winter well tail water flies that i primarily fish midges 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 and betas so super small i wouldn't say there's any specific fly that works better than any others um i do find a little bit more consistency on midges during the winter there's not as much bud bug activity happening so small bugs size 20 and higher 22 24 26 fish those small bugs with either 5x or 6x tippet and you will find success another thing too is with the water flows lower those fish are going to be a little more spooky so you got to be a little more stealthy some people make fun of people who wear camo on the river. Honestly, those guys are the smart ones because you can't see them, I can't see them. When I'm even running around here with my full sit gear on, no one sees me. I like sit there and I'm like trying to talk to, to my dad or my grandma or my mom or my girlfriend and they're just ignoring me. Maybe it's because I talk too much. Nah, it's definitely because I'm in camo and you can't see me. So, small bugs. Use small bugs, small tippet, and make sure you're stealthy. Be patient. Fish aren't feeding all day in the winter. They're feeding very selective times, so find out what times those are, and that's probably when you're gonna be most productive. You know, a lot of stuff comes into play other than that, but that's what you wanna do. That's my two take real quick. If you want me to break down winter fishing out on the water, I can do that as well. I probably will do that as well. But that's my two take on winter fishing. Stay warm out there, guys. Make sure you check out Sitka gear. I just wanted to highlight this. It's incredible. I'm literally sweating right now. I am, it, it's worth it. Go ahead, get it. Try out some of these tips, tricks, and pointers. Stay warm and make sure you guys are always prepared because winter fishing does get a little dangerous from time to time. Again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys on the next video. Oh my god, my arm's asleep. Ugh.